Hey guys, a very warm welcome to Ryan Online Academy. And in this video lecture, we will see some of the important MCQs from the Java script, right? Uh, so if you are preparing for any kind of ITCS related exam, then this will help you a lot. So before just starting the video, just I want to say that please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon button so that whenever we will upload the next lectures and important content for you, you will get instant notification from our side, right? And if you have any kind of doubts and queries if in the lecture uh, after discussing the complete session you can comment us and we will solve that queries right so let's start the very first question is that uh, what should appear at the very end of javascript right so if you are uh, well known with the javascript then you must know that the easiest question it is and the option a that is the markup tag then uh, forward slash and then script and then markup text closed right markup text they, they are basically angle tags or you can say that markup tags so this is the tag which should be appear at the very end of the java script and the at the very first you can say that the script and the language java script tag it is the opening tab of the language right so it is the easiest question and now let's see the second question uh, which of the which is the correct way to write a java script array right so if you want to write a java script array then there are four options we have now if you will see the first where text new array is equals to 1 means at the one first position rj 2 pj 3 dj no it is not the right way to write the javascript array the second one it is basically separating each and every element it is also not the correct way uh, see the third one yeah it is the right way where where text is equals to new array you have declared the variable name or you can say that the array name then rj means whatever your first element is that then comma basically you should have to declare under the uh, uh, these closing brackets and after that double quote your first element comma double quote second element double quote third element and likewise that but after the last element you should have to close it with the uh, closing bracket right or you can say that a small bracket so this is the correct way you can say that this is the correct way yeah this is the correct way right so option 3 is the right answer the next question is uh, java script is basically we have to fill in the blanks question uh, java script is, is question mark side scripting language so basically java script is a browser side scripting language right it is a java script is known for the browser side scripting language so option b is the right answer the next question is which of the following is the correct syntax to display Arihant Academy in an alert box using JavaScript. So basically you all know that whenever you will work on browser or if you close any uh, any uh, new window or any window uh, unknowingly then there might you see the pop up block or alert box right or whenever if you will click the uh, submit button or likewise that so alert box appear right so what is the correct way or correct syntax to appear that uh, alert box right so alert box Arihant Academy no uh, message Arihant Academy no uh, message box Arihant Academy no the first three options are the wrong way to or you can say that it is not the part of our syntax but yeah option fourth that is we have to start it with the alert then uh, a small bracket opening bracket then whatever message you want to print you can print here we have printed Arihant Academy Academy, then we have close uh, double quote closed, then uh, small bracket closed, and then semicolon is there, right? So this semicolon is very important. So option D is the right answer. It is the way to write or to display any alert box content, right? So option D is the right answer. The next question is it is also a fill in the blanks question. Uh, which keyword is used to declare variable in Java script? So it is this question variable variable keyword is used to declare variables means you have to write it as a where in a smaller uh, smaller form or abbreviated form var where where keyword is used to declare variables in javascript question right easy question to get one marks now the next question is how can you get the total number of arguments passed to a function so if you want to take the total number of arguments passed to a function then the right syntax is to argument dot length 
it is the correct syntax right so let's see match with the options or uh, using uh, args dot length dot pro, uh, property right but uh, here you will not have to confuse it with the name of argument and argues means you have to use complete uh, you can't use the smallest form args likewise that you have to use arguments means by using arguments dot length property uh, you can get the total number of arguments passed to a specific function or a function you want to uh, get the total number of arguments right so the correct option is b the next question is which of the function is used to retrieve a value so you all know that to retrieve a value we have to use get item right so to retrieve means we want to retrieve any element so to retrieve get item it is the correct the syntax right get item to retrieve the value so this function is used right easiest question uh, the next is uh, javascript is can be written directly on the server script no we can't write it directly on the server script uh, directly into html pages yes we can write it into directly into uh, html pages uh, and directly into js file and included into html yeah this is also right option means we can write javascript directly into js file as well as by, by including into html and as well as into uh, html pages right so both option b and c are the right answer uh, the next question is uh, what is the correct syntax we have to find here correct syntax for referring to an external script called rj.js so we have to find here the uh, correct syntax for referring the external script called rjcs suppose it is your file name then to refer any external script script href rj.js uh, uh, script name no, b is the b is known to answer and script source dot is equals to rj.js right we want to refer to a external script external script right we don't want to external script so script source is equals to rj.js it is the right answer 100% it is the right answer so you can note it down uh, the next question is which is the function used to store a value set item set store item store so you all know that to function which is used to store store a value to store a value we have to use set item set and get so get is used to retrieve the value or the item and set item is for store the value so option a is the right answer basically these are the very easiest question or you can say that the questions theoretical questions from the javascript and basically this kind of questions major ask in IIT officers net gate basically it is not in the gate syllabus but uh, in uh, others uh, other uh, exams like uh, RRB JE and uh, where net exam in IIT officer where if they want to ask you from the web development or like that uh, syllabus then they can ask such kind of question from you right so I hope uh, the questions and the answers and the uh, content that I have discussed with you are clear to you further if you have any kind of doubts or queries you can comment us and I will try to solve that doubts and queries as early as possible so guys you can also follow us on social web pages where we are currently updating you with the latest current affairs as well as job alerts so you can't miss any of the important job alerts and the uh, uh, current affairs on the our facebook pages whose link is given into our uh, description section so you can also follow us there and you can subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon button so whenever we will upload uh, the new content for you you can get instant notification from our side and i hope you have liked the video and uh, if you have any kind of queries and doubts you can comment us thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat